Traders, uh, here's my p and I'm done trading for today. Uh, the market continues to move higher. We're looking uh, good. And um, I just want to discuss something before I go. You can see here that I have a small winner in Amazon, $700, MRNA, nice winner. Uh, TGT, quite, um, I, I would say, normal loser, $4,000, almost five. But a very nice trade in XLNX. So end result for me is uh, close to seven grand. Anyway, I've done well today. I'm good with that. And I do want to discuss both the stocks you're seeing here, which is XLNX and TGT. And why did it happen that I have a loser of uh, uh, almost five grand in TGT and a winner of just over $9,000 in XLNX? And that is something that I need, uh, I think I need to discuss. Uh, so just a very small discussion here. So look at them. They look quite the same. They both get down. XLNX is, um, uh, came down, it was on my shortlist today. TGT came down, it was on my shortlist today. I was expecting a gap and go in both. They all behaved the same way. Started with a gap down, TGT moved higher, came down, shorted somewhere around here, did not work out, moved over the highs, got stopped, and therefore I've got uh, um, almost $5,000 loser here. On the other hand, XLNX did behave the way I was expecting it to behave. Started with a gap down, again, I expect a gap and go, meaning it should come down. And then it moved higher, great, I love that. Came down here, pulled back up, shorted it at uh, 85, 60, I believe that was here, I'm not sure. But I believe that was here, or maybe it was here, I'm not sure. Anyway, shorted XLNX, which was again a normal trade, just like TGT, I mean the same idea as TGT. Nothing different, uh, not, 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 there's no difference between both of them. And then it came down. So why did I end up making over $9,000 in XLNX? That was only due to this point over here. I posted it in the room again for short under $85. And that was the point where it came down, pulled back up a bit, came down again, nice bear flag right over here, a possible move to a new low. And that was the point where I added so sometimes when you feel like you have a winning head, hand and you feel like uh, the stock is going your way and it's about to break down under the lows, you need to expect it to come down under the lows. It was above the lows. It was coming down with a lot of momentum. The momentum could have been seen by the small pullback here, then the way it came down again. So adding under 85 was something that uh, was uh, uh, quite clear for me I should do. And that was, again adding uh, to a winning hand. And then it crashed down and became my best trade for the day. On the other hand, TGT was, a, I would call, a normal loser. It uh, came down a bit, did not continue moving lower. Quite a surprise, I have to say. Moved over the highs and took me out. So there's no reason, of course, to add to a losing trade. We do not uh, average down our loss or anything like that. So that was a normal behavior, a normal loser. But when you've got a stock that looks like X and X, sometimes you need to consider adding. And that's the difference between making money today and losing money today. I think even without that, I had a nice trade in uh, MRNA. If I need to take a look, uh, short look at uh, MRNA, uh, although it's moving up right now, you can see that it also started with a gap down, but it was a bit different. It moved up. Usually, I would not short a stock that looks like that, although it came down and we had a nice short. And look at this beautiful crash over here. But it was on my short list today, mainly because of the daily. If you look at the daily of MRNA, look at that. It, it, it looks like it's stopping here. It looks like, well, I'm not sure. It looks like that's why it was on my short list. So I love the daily and the daily compensated for the intraday because it moved up on the intraday too much for me to short. I mean, I could, but when the stock starting with a, sh with, with a big gap down and then moves up and closes like 75% of the gap, you see the gap would have been closed here. And then coming down, well, I would be very careful. That's why I had smaller size. And uh, you can see that my winner is also quite small, $1,700 compared to the rest. So uh, that was a, 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 a more careful trade with mRNA, although it worked out great. And then I posted it for another short here under 49 and I missed it. <laughs> that could have been beautiful.
the way it came down under 49. That could have been my second big winner today if I, I just missed it. I don't know, it just happened too quick. And you know, it's the same idea as XLNX. X. The one I, I, I noticed that there's a good chance it's gonna come down under the lows and gonna, and gonna crash down. That's exactly the same thing that happened with mRNA. So I did the right thing, expecting it to come down. It's just a matter of time. I did not click the button at the right time and it just crashed down. Could have been another amazing trade. Well, it wasn't. You missed them sometime. So I'm, I'm finishing with a nice green trade here. A uh, nice green day. Uh, three winners, actually four winners, one loser. It's an okay trade for me, uh, okay day to me. So hope you did well too. Thank you very much for participating. Thank you all. Uh, in YouTube, if you don't mind giving us a thumb up there, that, that would be highly appreciated. And, well, I'll see you all. Some of you are sitting today, today. Scott, right? We've got uh, the Star Trader course uh, today at 3.15. And the rest, I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading team. Our professional analysts will teach you how you can trade stocks from your own home without risking your own money. Click here to learn more about our funded accounts program. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.